Yo guys, it's been a minute since I did a tutorial and lately I was watching some montages that were made on DaVinci and they had some insane text effects. And it happened to be that you guys wanted to know how to do them. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some dope 3D text. Now I'm going to be on After Effects and you could apply any of these techniques to a different software if you prefer. Subscribe to the channel and like this video because this 3D text is about to be fire and I love you guys. Let's check this out. So let me show you guys the final comp. This is what we're gonna make. So this text effect is clearly pretty dope. I really like this. And let's just delete everything and start over. Okay, so you're gonna first import your clip. You wanna go to the spot obviously that we're gonna use. So first, let me just line this up. First thing we need to do is sync it. So I'm gonna start it here and then for me, I'm gonna do it right when the buildup is happening, and then I'm gonna cut it right on the shot. And so the first step in here is just cutting out the portion that you want and then syncing it. So I've cut out this portion here, and now I have a full syncing tutorial, so if you wanna watch that, you can click the top right. So I'm going to sync this right here real quick. I'm gonna control Alt T, set a timing map keyframe on the beginning and end of that clip, and I'm gonna slow this down a lot. So I just stretched this out to have a portion where we can just put some text. So then I select those two keyframes and easy ease them and enable pixel blending because I really slowed that down. And remember, this is just syncing. I'm slowing down the buildup and just syncing this out. So this is what I just synced and that's looking good. So, and I can even make that a little longer as well. So I've synced this up and that's our graph right there. So I can, now that I've synced that, I can rematch this up so the impact happens right there. And that's looking great. So you wanna have a part that doesn't have a lot of camera motion going on because I'm gonna have After Effects camera track this. And if there's a lot of movement in the gameplay, it's not gonna really be able to. So once you've synced your clip portion that you wanna have your text on, right click and pre-compose it. And I'm gonna call this sync for text. Now, once you've pre-composed that, you can look up 3D camera tracker. And to search up effects, I'm using a free plugin by Video Copilot called FX Console. And so just look up Camera Tracker, or you can go to Effect Perspective and click 3D Camera Tracker there. And while that's analyzing, I wanna let you guys know that my Payhip still has everything for 25% off if you check out with code Shill. So feel free to do that because it's only lasting for a couple more days. The link is in the description. Okay, so that has finished analyzing. So I'm gonna click this effect and we have a bunch of track marks here. If you don't have a bunch of track points, that's okay. It just means you used a weird part of your clip and I would highly recommend using a different part of your clip where there's just less camera movement. So these green ones mean it's good. The other colorful ones, I have no idea, but if it's red, it means it's bad. So uh, we want the good track points. So I'm gonna click a bunch of green ones that make sense for my text placement like that. Right click and create a solid. And then I'm going to trim the ends of this solid just so it's easier. And great, so I've just created a solid in camera, which means that this track solid is in 3D space. So if you click R on your track solid, you can take out its 3D rotations. So its orientation is already going to have some numbers input, so it's tracked. Um, so I'm just gonna set everything back to zero. Now you wanna think about how you want your text to look and try to position this track solid as kind of a reference. So I'm just trying to get an idea of how this would look and I'm spitting around this track solid. I'm gonna make it a little bigger as well. And that's like a good place for text. So I'm going to control T to create my text. And the first one I'm gonna make is vamp. Just cause like, I don't have a song input right now, but if I did, this is the text that I would use. Great, so we got our text and I'm going to make this a 3D layer by clicking the cube here. And you can toggle switches and modes in the bottom left if you can't see the cube. And then I'm going to click on my track solid and click PSR and select all of these by clicking shift on the first one and just clicking the last one while holding shift and copy that control C and paste it onto your text. And I'm going to cut my text as well. So if I disable this track solid by clicking the eye, we have vamp right here and that looks pretty badass. So I'm just messing around with the orientation. I'm gonna click shift P to also take out my position and drag this closer. Just mess around with the position. So that looks pretty dope. Now if I click on the position keyframe, I can animate that so that it like comes from out of the camera 
and you have to mess with the X, Y, and Z. And then I'm going to have it just keyframe in like that. So now once I have those keyframes, I'm going to select both of them, click F9 and go to the graph editor, right click, go to speed graph and just drag these to the left. So I have like a smooth animation. I'm also going to click the motion blur option. And that's looking really sick. I can drag all of this to the left. Great. So once you've set that up, you can duplicate it or create a new text layer um, to create more text. So in this case, I'm going to click Control D to duplicate that. And I'm going to click R, Shift P, Shift S. That just takes out the position, scale, and rotation. And I'm going to reset these keyframes. So I'm going to change this text by double clicking on that layer. So you just type in whatever you want your other text to say. And then again, you want to mess around with the orientation of it. Moving the position and the orientation. This is looking really sick though. It's something you just kind of gotta, yeah, you gotta see what works, but this is the, this is the process that I like to use for it. And then once you've set up a good location for it, you can also create another position keyframe and put that wherever you want and just animate that to come from up to down. Select those keyframes and do the same thing we did with the first one and just drag this to the left. So that's pretty much it for the text. You can also add more effects on your impact and everything. This is just bare bones minimum because I'm really focusing on the text for this. But once you combine this with overlays and a really nice impact and shake, it'll look really good. So for the text, I can probably add a couple more effects. One thing you could maybe add is something like Hollow Matrix which is a plugin by Red Giant Universe. And I'm going to disable time effects and alpha edge fix. It's all good if you don't have this plugin. It really doesn't matter. Like you can use so many different effects. This is just for reference. So that looks dope. I'm also going to add a little bit of twitch to it. Scroll down, just increase the speed, lower the amount and enable a little bit of slide. Then go to operator controls, go to the slide and just lower the amount and frequency. And then I'm going to keyframe the speed to go from something high to low after it lands. I want it to twitch when it's coming down and then relax when it's landed. Now we can skew all of these keyframes as well. And I'm also going to just shorten that animation. I can keep the speed a little bit higher on the twitch, just lower the amount because I want that to be subtle. And then I can also add hollow matrix on the first text. So I'm going to add some hollow matrix here and just go to color and brightness settings and turn off color separation as well. And then just mess around with the colors. So like we could even try to make this red, like something like that. I'm also going to disable time effects and let's preview that and see how it looks. Okay, that's fire. That actually looks so sick. So we can, you know, add, add our glows and whatever. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a buildup. All right, so that was my text. I added an impact and a color grade. So let's see how this final looks. Dude, that is so clean. I, I really like this text effect and I wouldn't have done a tutorial on this if you guys didn't say anything and if I didn't make that video. So I'm super glad that we made this tutorial because I really like this text effect and I think I'm gonna have to use it a lot more often. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as well. So stay cozy, stay comfy and stay hydrated. Peace.